92,500 booster jabs were required to be administered to prevent one hospitalisation due to COVID in the healthy 40 to 49-year-old group, which would simultaneously have put 116 people at probability of death or serious adverse reaction into hospital from the jab. The healthy 30 to 39-year-old age group required 210,400 booster jabs to prevent a single COVID hospitalisation. So 263 of this group will have been into hospital or sadly died as a result of the booster side effects just to keep one COVID case out of hospital. But the data gets worse because hospitalisation doesn't necessarily mean a serious medical intervention such as intubation or, oxy or, or oxygen. To prevent severe hospitalisation from COVID-19, the numbers needed to be boosted become astronomical. I would suggest that this is the real benchmark for comparison with the risks of death or serious adverse events from the boosters themselves. So the government's own data shows that in healthy adults aged 50 to 59, it was necessary to give 256,400 booster jabs to prevent just one severe hospitalisation, putting 321 people into hospital with a serious side effect from the booster, uh, which includes obviously risk of death. For 40 to 49 year olds, that number increases to 932,500 who need to be boosted to keep one COVID patient out of ITU, putting potentially 1,165 people into hospital with serious harms, death or disability.